The Makabayan Bloc has time and again denied outright allegations that they are members of the CPP, NPA, and NDF. At the Senate hearing on Tuesday, minority lawmakers claim that their group has been the favorite target of the government's red tagging activity. Tahasan kong sinasabi sa committee ito, Mr. Chair, na hindi ako miyembro ng Communist Party of the Philippines, hindi ako rebelde, at hindi ako miyembro ng National Democratic Front of the Philippines. I am not engaged in the armed struggle. I do not support or espouse the violent overthrow of the state. And I do not recruit for the New People's Army or any armed group. Hindi po ako rebelde, Mr. Chair. Other red tagging victims have also appealed to the upper chamber to put a stop on the activity. Kabataan Party District Representative Sara Elago was in tears as she explained how the government allegedly spreads fake news about her using military pages on social media. Mismo ang Commission on Human Rights at ang pinakahuling mga ulat ng UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights ang naglalahad kung kaano delikado para sa mga buhay at sa aming mga pamilya ang maging biktima ng red tagging. The National Intelligence Coordinating Agency or NICA insisted that red tagging is not a policy of the government. Ang ginagawa po ng gobyerno at pinapaalam po sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin sa buong bansa ang katotohanan tungkol sa CPP, NPA, NPM at ang kanilang mga front organizations. This was opposed by former Bayan Muna Representative Neri Colminares. Other alleged former NPA members like Jeffrey Celis also testified against the Makabayan Solons. But former Bayan Muna Representatives Colminares and Chodoro Casino said his testimony is just based on mere recall. Despite distancing themselves from communist groups, minority lawmakers said they could not denounce them as enemies. Casino said the rebel groups have the reasons, something that Senator Panfilo Laxon said he could not reconcile. Several activists have frowned upon the previous Senate hearings on red tagging, insisting that these have become a venue for government forces to allegedly spread lies. Reporting for News 5, Mea and Los Baños, we are One News.